Hey everyone, so I hope everyone had an amazing holiday season. I know that mine was awesome. I got to spend a ton of time with family from all over the country and it's my favorite time of year so um, I thought that would lead into a good video of the first one of 2012 and just kind of show you what I got for Christmas and what I bought with you know Christmas money and all that sort of thing and I think the lighting is a little too harsh. No. Huh. Maybe that's a little better. I don't know. I'm using the webcam anyway. So I just wanted to show everybody kind of what I got and um, what I bought with some Christmas money. Me being a parent of a little two-year-old boy, um, Christmas has turned from stuff for me to stuff for my son. So I got, you know, one awesome present and then I got Christmas money from everybody else. And then just, you know, my son got a ton of toys, like a ridiculous amount of toys, which I am so thankful for and so blessed to have family that cares that much. But I just wanted to show and um, show you what I got. I'm going to start off with my big present, then I'm going to show you the make makeup sorry, items that I bought with my Christmas money. So the first item that I'm so excited about, I absolutely love to death, is my Kindle Fire. Let's see. And this is the case that my parents got me. It's just a um, purple case that's really awesome. It actually has this little clip in the back that you flip it open and it clips right in. Hold on. It clips right in so where it can actually like sit flat on a desk or you know something because I'm going to be using this for textbooks for school. Um, but it's just absolutely amazing. It's completely touchscreen and you can. Hi. There I am. Hello. <laughs> anyway, um, it's completely touchscreen and you can see all the fingerprints and whatever, but I'm just going to kind of show you. Turn it on. It gets really blurry, but it's all, um, whoop. It's all, um, <laughs> I'm having to do it like backwards. It's color and, um, you can get, you know, like I have Pandora, Facebook, I have movies on here, I have music, um, and then because I am such an absolute Twilight freak. It is so bad. So sad how obsessed I am with Twilight. I have the Twilight series books on this and um, I also have, you know, like it's basically it's a tablet with an e-reader on it, really. Um, you know, I've got like Words with Friends apps. I've got all the apps that you would have on like an iPhone or an Android and iPad and then I've got, you know, Twitter and all that. Um, you can see right here new moon anyway it's really it's really bad at how obsessed i am with the twilight saga like i'm already waiting for next year's twilight but um this is absolutely awesome um it's my first kindle i didn't have you know like the kindle before or whatever um my parents have a nook and they like nook um i know nook makes a color version and that's um i think fifty dollars more than this but i'm not sure if you can do all that you can on the Nook that you can on the Kindle, like music and movies and that kind of thing, newspapers and magazines. If you're an avid reader, I would definitely suggest getting one of these. Um, it's really nice that it's all in color, it's all touch screen, you know, it's really handy. I'm just gonna take it out really quick and out of the case and show you what it looks like. Um, it just, you know, looks like a regular, I'm going to turn the screen off because that's just a regular, you know, tablet right here on the back. It says Kindle. It's, um, a very sturdy, it's like not heavy, but it's sturdy. You can definitely tell that it's really sturdy. Um, and I, I love it. You know, it's, it's amazing. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to get my, e my books for school on here, eBooks. And this is so much easier than carrying around, you know, a 3,000 pound book to class when you have like four classes a day, you know, it's killing you by the time you're, you're done with classes that day. And, um, so I'm really excited to get my ebooks on that. Then I'm going to kind of give you an advice that I've heard my whole life with things like this and that I found to really work for me. It is when you go to load for the first time to like download a book or, you know, a movie or, whew, sorry, a movie or music or anything you're gonna have to give a method of payment and um, I'm really wary about doing things like that online with credit cards and debit cards so what I do and what I've always been taught to do is actually just load money onto a gift card I got this $50 gift card for Christmas so I decided I was just gonna load this all onto my Kindle so I can just download books and um, you know sometimes with technology and stuff 
glitches happen. It happens all the time on computers, Kindles, you know, Nooks, whatever, iPods, and it'll charge you like five times for the same thing. And then if you have your debit card on file or your credit card on file, you know, it could take too much money out. It could overdraw you, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, obviously they'd refund you, but it'd take a long time. And with a gift card, you've already set this money aside for things on your Kindle or, you know, whatever you have. And um, you've already set this money aside so you know in case something does happen, you know, you don't have to have this money immediately. It's not dire that you get it back, you know, that day. They, Like I said, they will always refund you. I've actually already had to do this since Christmas to get refunded. So one of my books didn't download properly or whatever, but that was my fault. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to stop rambling about that. Y'all are adults. You can figure it out. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to move on to some of the stuff that I bought with my Christmas money from uh, my grandparents and stuff like that. And this is just beauty items I bought. You know, clothes and accessories and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you the beauty items that I got. Wow, I need to hurry this video up. I'm rambling too much. Okay, first I wanted to start off with the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. I've actually never had one of these. And Physician's Formula is the first makeup brand that I ever wore when I was, you know, starting to wear makeup or whatever. So I'm really surprised that I haven't tried these. But this one is the brown eye candy. And not because I have brown eyes, obviously, but just because I absolutely loved the colors. Let me... The colors are just amazing random purple but whatever and that's actually what I have on today a very natural look I'm super impressed with these especially over a base they are incredible so I would definitely check out the shimmer ships if you haven't already I know they have some limited edition one out too like the nude um, one that I definitely want to go get um let's see what else I got I got two NYX single shadows I wanted a taupe eyeshadow and this one is called true taupe it's matte Let's see if you can see it at all it's a beautiful color absolutely gorgeous i love taupe shadows so this one is truly taupe as the name gives and it is matte and then i wanted a really nice deep dark brown and i got this one from nyx and this is a charcoal brown and as you can see it's super dark so i i love these the they're so creamy and then i got two of the nyx pencils um these are not the slide on pencils these are just the regular pencils and i got one in black oh this one's brown <laughs> one in brown and one in black and it gives you the color what i love it gives you the color of it on the bottom um i absolutely love these i have the black one on today for my eyeliner and it's just so creamy so smooth and sometimes i know when you get an actual pencil it can be a little rough um i have not run into that yet with these and i just love it and the thing I'm super excited about from NYX that I have not yet to try, so I, I found it because it's always out at my Ulta, like you can never find it. And I don't like ordering things offline just because the shipping and whatever, so um, I bought the NYX eyeshadow base, finally, in um, skin tone. Uh, I love this stuff. It is the best base I've ever used. You can tell it's like a little, little pot and you just use your finger, you know, rub it on there and... Oh, it is truly long lasting. The texture is so nice. So, um, and I think this runs for about $6 at my Ulta. So, yeah, definitely check out the NYX bases if you have it. I know they have the skin tone and then they have a white. And I think they have a pearl too. I'm not sure. But, yeah, they, they only have three colors. Three. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to save the two that I'm so excited for for last. Um. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm a huge fan of the Great Lash um, Mascara from Maybelline. I've been using it for about seven years, whatever. And so it was really surprising that I hadn't tried the Lots of Lashes yet. And I finally did. Oh, I am in love. Um, I have it on today, although I did not, I don't have my eyelash curler with me. So it's not, you know, but oh, it's just beautiful. Hello. <laughs> and, you know... The, the brush is awesome. It gets in the corners really nicely. You can do your bottom lashes with it great. I definitely suggest the lots of lashes if you're in line for a good mascara. Cheap mascara. I think I paid $5 for this at most. Now, these things, these two things coming up I have been looking for. I am so super stoked for these. And they are the color tattoos from Maybelline. The 24 hour color tattoos. Y'all. I'm not even kidding when I say these are incredible. 
I paid $7 for each of these and actually at Ulta it was buy one get one half off so yeah great deal and uh, I am so excited I have to show you swatches so I'm going to push up my sleeve for this um I got this is number 25 bad to bron bad to the bronze and I'm going to show you and I've heard I've never used a matte paint pot I know kind of surprising but um I've never used a matte paint pot but I've heard that these are like exact dupe for paint pots and actually long more let me get this right more long wearing than a mac paint pot so you know take it as it is um this is bad to the bronze and let's see if you can see <laughs> it's just a beautiful bronze base i don't use these as bases i actually use these as just you know eyeshadow i will put a little bit of um powder over it just a similar color but the colors are so beautiful just to be used as a base that I just couldn't I just couldn't use them as a base you know and then this one this next one is my favorite and this is number 35 tough as taupe the beautiful oh my god I'm so excited and it's matte it's a matte taupe cream I was so excited just gonna go ahead and on for you get a little bit I didn't get enough on my finger so there's bad to the bronze on top and tough as taupe my lighting sucks can, so you cannot see the absolute beauty of these two so pretty I would definitely suggest come going and getting them like I said I got mine in Ulta for seven dollars a piece and I think they are still having that buy one get one half off on pretty much everything um, so I definitely head on down to your local Ulta for these. They have a bunch of really bright colors too. I know they have an orange one, a um, tenacious teal or something. And um, I'm just not into the really bright colors. So I stuck to these and I'm so impressed with them. Amazing. And this taupe one I use um, with this NYX True Taupe because it's like the exact same color. So the powder doesn't override the beautiness of the um cream so that is just some of the beauty products that i have bought with my money i have actually bought this shirt with some of my money just a black thermal shirt uh, you know some other clothes some accessories and um so yeah um i like i said i hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season oh i forgot one other thing my um aunt and uncle got me um a board game my family is avid board game players um when you have a house full for holidays of 16 to 20 people um you know board games are the way to go to get everybody to do something together we don't go out because it's too hectic to get 17 people at one restaurant together and um so we do games and um my aunt and uncle got me apples to apples which is a awesome game if you haven't played it it's super fun and then um it came with a little travel side of bezer wizard which i haven't played yet but it's a trivia game and i am a trivia buff i love trivia so yeah like i said i hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season and yeah so i hope to see you next time bye